I'm Robert Crowe from Leading for Purpose and welcome to our series of Governance Fundamentals for Not-for-Profit Chairs. So today I'm going to look at another aspect of direction which is one of the essentials for NFP governance and specifically just going to talk a little bit about strategy. We talked about vision and purpose. I'm going to just talk about strategy and how it might fit in there. Um, and again, strategy is one of those core fundamentals and foundations. Um, and it's one of the areas that you know, a lot of boards aren't quite confident in, um, in working through strategy. Uh, in essence, that's really the role of the, the board is to be looking into the future. Um, so your strategy is going to be, you know, a core, a core part of that. So when looking at strategy, usually most strategies are three to five years out, and depending on what's happening in your organisation, what's happening in your sector, that may be realistic. And you know, I like to, to think about it as you know, talking about a three-year plan out with the organisation, and then maybe as the board looking five years out, a little bit further out, just so you know, you're, you're thinking a little bit more broadly about what's going to happen. And if you have some visionaries on your board or you have some people who are connected, you know, to policy, um, to some of the key areas of your industry, then you might have a little bit more insight from that point of view. It also gets the board thinking, thinking about long term, thinking about long term and away from too much of the short term, if that is an issue with, with your board. Um, the plan... Uh, and strategy needs to still be, even though it's about the future, it still needs to be appropriate to your current status and it needs to take those things into account. And what I, what I mean by that is that it is, your strategy is about moving into the future. Not a lot of organisations um, get the opportunity to just shut down and reinvent themselves. Uh, so, you know, there usually is transition of people, of process, transition of services, you know, geography, depending on what you're doing from a strategic point of view. Um, so it needs to take those things into account. If you don't have the expertise in your organisation for what your future direction is going to be, then you need to think about that as part of the plan. How are you going to upskill? How are you going to hire? How are you going to restructure? You should be thinking about building your strategy plan around industry best practice. What are people in your industry doing in your particular sector or your particular field? Um, and there's no point having a strategy that just says, wow, let's just reinvent what we're doing now and, and make the, the strategy into the future just a reflection of what we're doing now. The strategy should be agreed and supported by the board. So there should be a level of agreement there. Now it's it's not usual that every single member of the board is going to really uh, agree on every single aspect of your strategy, but the agreement needs to be about support. The board needs to say, yes, this is the direction we're going to go in and we're going to work towards building that direction and do, building that possible future. So you need to, to get agreement across the board. The other thing you need to make sure is as your plan is progressing that it is regularly reviewed and your strategy is regularly reviewed and realigned. You know, nothing is uh, set in concrete and what you set today isn't going to be exactly what's going to be present in five years' time. Policies change, laws change, uh, areas of funding change, uh, the way people deliver services change, medical breakthroughs happen. So you know, you need to be realigning and reviewing what you are doing. And I think that's one thing that frightens people doing a strategic plan, um, thinking that, well, that's it, we put in the drawer and pull it out five years to see whether we were right or not. And that's not the way the strategic plan, um, you know, should be viewed. It is a pathway to the future, um, but there, you know, there could be forks, there could be other, other things that happen that uh, change it as you go along. The other thing about the strategic plan is that it is supported by the senior team in the organisation. Again, you know you don't want to you don't want a strategic plan that is just handed down from the board to the senior managers and do it say do it. Um, you know it's got to be supported. Hopefully they've had input into developing it as well. Uh, the uh, implementation is so much easier if it is supported and the senior team has been part of your strategic planning process as well. 
Again, another level down is that the strategic plan is communicated to the organization, that people understand it, and then it cascades down through the organization. People need to understand what is my part in that strategic plan? Why is my role changing? Why is my processes changing? If they're part of that strategic plan and understand it um, and what their role is, then they're more likely to be able to, you know, um, be willing to, to change or to move in, into the future um, if that's what you need everyone in the organization to do. Uh, you need to make sure that operational and tactical plans, you know, are clearly derived from the strategic plan. So again, that next level down, making sure that what you're doing from an operational point of view reflects what you, you uh, need to happen as part of the strategic plan. The other thing is that you should have uh, measurement processes in place to monitor um, whether things are going right, whether the changes that you thought were needed uh, are still appropriate, uh, whether you have some waypoints that six months, 12 months, two years uh, to make sure everything's um, uh, going to plan. So you need to think about what, what sort of measurement you're going to do along the way and what is that measure of success? How can we make sure that we are effective or what changes do we need to, to make along the way to make sure that we're making those adjustments that are needed. So that's just a little bit about strategy. I hope uh, this has been helpful for you as an NFP chair or a board member. And I do look forward to seeing you again in our governance fundamental series. Mm -hmm.